the bad guys figured they could get away with their terrible crime against a young girl in the middle of a distant forest. However, what they didn't anticipate was who would rescue her. You'll be astonished when you find out who the heroes are in this story set in the stunning city of Casenza, Italy. Antonella was a stunningly beautiful 14-year-old young lady with a notable inner strength and sense of independence. She had lost her parents in a car accident when she was at an early age, and her grandmother graciously took care of her ever since doing her best to raise Antonella lovingly. Fortunately, Grandma had the experience of raising three daughters of her own, leaving her well prepared for her granddaughter. While other children may have been affected by the trauma of losing their parents, Antonella adjusted fairly well. She was always a quiet, polite, and conscientious child, and was steadily growing up to become a friendly and beautiful young woman with a good heart. The area in which Antonella lived was pretty quiet, but all the people that lived there were friendly, and it was a real close-knit community. The city was surrounded by lash forests, and it gave the whole place a very natural look. However, as beautiful as the forest was, the residents of Casenza tried to keep away as there were wild, vicious, and dangerous animals that lived in there. There were stories of people wandering into the forest and never returning, and all the children of the city including Antonella, were instructed never to venture into the wild place. It was not safe, but something drew Antonella to the forest. She loved to sit and watch the wildlife in there, and her uncle had even constructed her a treehouse at the edge of the city in which she had a fantastic view deep into the trees. Her grandma would constantly warn her about the dangers of the forest, and she was always worried that her grandchild would wander too far into the trees one day. But Antonella was sensible and knew better than to disobey her grandma. One day on her way back from school, Antonella decided to walk down a path that skirted the very edge of the city where it met the forest. It was a quiet and rarely used path. But Antonella enjoyed the quiet and liked to watch the squirrels skip and play in the trees. But all of a sudden came a loud and blood-curdling howl from not too far into the forest. She instinctively knew it was that of a wolf, and she ran as fast as she could towards the safety of her home, but something stopped her, some kind of curiosity or interest. The howl didn't actually sound that scary, and Antonella started to worry that an animal might be in pain or in danger. Perhaps if she went into the forest not too far, she would be able to uncover the mystery and maybe help the animal. She started to take tentative steps into the trees, and after only a few moments, she got a glimpse of an animal laying on the floor in a clearing somewhere ahead. As Antonella got closer, she realized it was a wolf and her blood ran cold. She knew wolves to be dangerous and vicious, and it could have easily killed her if she wanted to but something caught her eye that stopped her from turning back to wolf pups. They were gathered around their mother, who had clearly been in some kind of fight. She had wounds on her body clearly from fighting another larger animal she had been protecting her children, and it looked as if the wolf mother was going to die. Slowly, the mother stopped breathing until the cubs were left alone and scared. Antonella slowly approached much to her relief. The cubs didn't seem scared. Perhaps they knew she meant them no harm. Reaching into her bag, she pulled out a small amount of food and threw it for the cubs to eat. They dived after the food, happily eating what the kind stranger had provided. As the babies ate, Antonella went and laid her hand on the dead wolf's head and made a silent vow to protect her cubs, promising to bring them food as often as she could but Antonella could not take the puppies home with her. Not only would they be away from their natural habitat, but Antonella's grandma would know that she had disobeyed her orders. Still, she was worried that without their mother's help, the cubs would surely die. So Antonella came up with a plan. She would take them back to her treehouse and keep them there. They would be safe there and she could easily look after them. Antonella even gave them names, Romulus and Remus. 
So, she took the cubs back to the treehouse and played with them all evening. They were happy and energetic and seemed to love her company. She would then go home and bring them food. Aunt Onella did this every day, watching the wolf cubs get slowly stronger and bigger. This went on for months and Aunt Onella considered the beautiful animals to be her friends. Despite what she had always been led to believe, the wolves were friendly and sociable. They enjoyed the company of Aunt Onella, and they even started to act more like dogs than wolves. Their tails would wag when they saw her coming, and they would yap and roll around on the floor after she fed them their favorite meals. It really was a partnership made in heaven. One day when she was walking to the treehouse, Aunt Onella suddenly became aware that some men were following her. As she started walking faster, the men started to run until Aunt Onella was sprinting away from them. Clearly, these men had bad intentions. Just before she reached her treehouse, though, the men caught up with Aunt Onella. They threatened her with a knife and dragged her into the forest where they could enact their evil and insidious plan. The men led her deep into the trees where they threw her on the ground. The young woman was on her knees before them and scared to death. Aunt Onella couldn't help but think the worst was going to happen, and tears filled her eyes as she wondered what was going to become of her and if she would ever see her grandma and her home ever again. But before the men could do anything, a distant howl rang through the forest. It stopped the men in their tracks, and they looked at each other, suddenly wary and panicked, and Aunt Onella though, suddenly felt a boost of confidence and a little spark of hope. She knew those howls. She knew what that noise meant. The men waited several moments wondering if the noise would happen again, but there was no sound. They turned their attention back to the girl on the ground and started to approach her with an evil look in their eyes. But all of a sudden came a loud wrestling and out of the foliage pounced two wolves, Romulus and Remus. They positioned themselves between Antonella and her attackers and bared their teeth violently growling at them and swiping their paws at the men. The two wolves had seen Antonella being snatched from the window of the treehouse. They had broken out of their home and tracked their master and her captors into the forest and leap into action to defend the one who had looked after them since they were pups. Antonella had never felt safer than she did right then. The attackers, on the other hand, were clearly terrified. They all fled in different directions with the wolves playfully chasing after them, snapping at their heels and snarling at them as they ran. The men would not only never think of trying to commit such a horrible act again in their lives, but they would never come close to approaching the forest again in fear of being attacked by these vicious wolves once more. The wolves then returned to Antonella who were shaken and upset, but otherwise, okay, they nuzzled her and sat against her and in her lap until she was strong enough to pick herself up and walk back out of the forest and home. And all the while, the two wolves remained at her side, guarding her, protecting her, and looking out for her just like Antonella had done for them. So, now it's over to you. What did you think of this incredible story? Would you look after two wild wolf cups? And how would you feel if they came to your rescue as they did with Antonella? As always, we love to hear from you, so be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments section down below.